The European battlefield of World War I opened the eyes of Japanese military advisors, allowing them to witness the clashes between industrial powers. Especially impressive were the various calibers of railway guns, which had greater destructive power than traditional heavy artillery and also had the ability to be transported by railway, making them a key land warfare weapon at the time. This led to the Japanese military equipping themselves with these powerful weapons. However, railway guns were a complex piece of equipment. They required the creation of new combat units and consideration of the country's railway infrastructure, as well as the high cost of manufacturing the artillery facilities. It was not an easy task for a military without sufficient resources. After World War I, the major powers of the world entered a period of temporary rest without the need for warfare, which meant that it wasn't until the late 1920s that the Japanese military gradually began to allocate funds for the development of railway guns. At that time, Japan had a strong foundation in heavy industry and the ability to build heavy equipment such as battleships. Building railway guns was not difficult, but it required relevant experience. Japan chose to import and produce their own railway guns. They selected the Schneider factory in France, which had launched a long-range artillery program in 1918 aimed at developing a 240 mm cannon with a range of 59,000 meters. Japan chose to purchase gun barrels from France and produce the related train components domestically. In 1928, the French factory completed a large cannon and conducted eight test firings at its internal firing range, followed by additional tests on the coast. The cannon was fired at angles of 5 degree hour 20 deg, 32 deg, and 50 deg with a muzzle velocity of 1,049 meters per second and a maximum range of nearly 53,000 meters, an impressive achievement for that time. The cannon was then shipped back to Japan for installation, becoming the first and only railway cannon in Japanese history. The railway gun, officially named the Type 90 240 mi railway gun, entered service in 1930. Weighing 136 tons, it differed from most other railway guns in that its cannon had 360 degree in firing capability, greatly increasing its operational flexibility. Initially deployed in Futsu City, Chiba Prefecture, as a mobile defense artillery for Tokyo Bay, it was equipped with the appropriate locomotive. As the Japanese military expanded their operations in East Asia, they began building fortresses in the northeastern part of China. In January 1942, the Type 90 railway gun was deployed near the Tigerhead Fortress, seemingly intended to be used as a secret heavy weapon. However, this Japanese heavy artillery did not see any action during the war and had no combat record. In 1945, as the Allied forces counterattacked the Japanese military, the Soviet army advanced into the northeast and approached the Kwantung army. Unable to resist, the Kwantung army destroyed and abandoned the railway gun. Thus, the only railway gun in Japanese history came to an end, having never seen any combat action in over a decade of service.